This is Michael Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we use Smlink to build this second order model. So first of all, we need to put some components in the Simulink. We go to the Simulink library browser. We search for integrator. We put the integrator in the Simulink. You can see the equation that we want to build. The background is not easy to read, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the background, change it to light blue, now I'm going to put another component, this time I put the sum. I changed the the sum function into a plus minus minus function. Now I put a signal generator in the simulating browser. I search for signal. That is the force input. I use the signal generator as the force input, the F. And I search for the gain. I change the format of the gain by flip the block. So it would be like the block would be in pointing to the left hand side. Now, this box, I call it 1 over mass. And put it before the integrator. So, you can see I set the mass is equal to 0 0.1 kilogram. The output of the 1 over mass is the acceleration. The output of the first integrator is the velocity. The output of the second integrator is the displacement. I make the damping factor to be 20. I make the stiffness to be After that, I put a squirrel in the output. I change the waveform to be a square wave with the frequency is equal to 0.1 and that's just the output
Now I use a step function instead of a signal generator. I change the final value to 10, the step time to be 3. This is the output of the displacement. 